Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. This is the week of August 22nd, 2022. We got four stories for you. And the first one, well, you've been kind of waiting for it. And DJI Avada is here. It was released yesterday, if you're watching this live. And uh, well, we get our hands on one of them for the last two weeks. And uh, we actually put quite a bit of content out there and we'll be talking about that. We'll talk about the Zephyr drone. We talked about that a couple of times in the news update and it finally went down. And we'll tell you the record that it uh, established. And then there's a a new Evo 2 version 3. This is kind of an interesting thing. We'll talk about what happened. And then lastly, there's quite a few events right around the corner, so we'll mention those. Let's get to it. All right, the first story this week is the DJI Avada. It's out and it's actually pretty sweet. Uh, we've had our chance to uh, get our hands on one of them for the last two weeks. We've been putting it to the test. Uh, this thing can do 4K, 60 frames per second. Uh, it's got an 18 minute flight time. Now, obviously this is, you, you might think, well, this is not a whole lot. Well, this is a different type of drone, right? This is a Cine Whoop. If you're not familiar, uh, this is kind of a, an FPV drone that's designed to fly indoors. It's got prop guards, uh, propeller ducts, I should say. And uh, it's a pretty small size, pretty small format. Typically, these type of drones will fly for only a few minutes, three to four, possibly even five, minutes, but that's about it. Um, they also don't have GPS typically. This has a full GPS mode with a, a, a normal mode, a sport mode like you've seen on other DJI drone, but also a full manual mode. So if you wanted to do tricks with it, flip it, do whatever you want, it has the ability to do that. Uh, we also see new goggles with head tracking, uh, which is pretty exciting. Now you may have seen our videos already, but if not, go take a look. Uh, we have a free deep dive course for it. We have a full review. Uh, it's about 35 minutes long, probably the longest one that you can find out there. And then we also have comparative footage uh, that you can look at in the full review and then also as a standalone video. Uh, we compared it to the DJI Hero 10, which is something that people have been using quite a bit on other drones. So um, yeah, that's ask us all the questions you want in here. Uh, like I said, we've uh, we've been playing with it and it's actually pretty darn cool. Next story this week has to do with the Zephyr drone. We talked about it a couple, uh, well, I think we talked about it last week. Actually, right after we mentioned it and right after our news update went live last week, it crashed uh, in Arizona. It did fly for 64 days. It was airborne for 64 days, which is amazing. Uh, it was actually just a few hours short of the longest flight ever, which was set in 1958. Now, this was a crewed flight, uh, Cessna 172 Skyhawk, that was flown by two pilots for six 64 days and 22 hours. Now you may wonder how they did it. Uh, they were getting refueled uh, in flight, <laughs> flying very low, and then the car was uh, on the side of the runway, uh, basically just refueling them as they were flying. Pretty crazy feat. Uh, obviously, this is a slightly different type of flight, but uh, cool nonetheless. Uh, Airbus uh, hasn't really put out a whole lot of information yet. I don't think we know why the thing crashed uh, in Arizona. I'm sure, well, I, I, I don't want to really speculate, but if we find out more, we'll let you know. Uh, we just wanted to mention it and kind of close that loop. Next thing is coming from Autel, and Autel has been doing interesting things. A couple months ago, maybe a year ago, we talked about the Evo 2 V2. The Evo 2 is kind of their flagship drone, and they created a V2 version because uh, they were having issues with the chips. And um, it's actually more than a year ago, way more than a year ago. Um, and now they're talking about a V3. Now this is according to FCC filing. Uh, they're preparing to release six different versions of the Hotel Evo 2. Now you may not know this, but the Evo 2 has a lot of different options, a lot of different models if you want. There's the Evo 2 Pro, which in this case would be V3, which is their one inch sensor uh, that can do 6K videos. Uh, we'll also call it the Evo 2 6K sometimes. This, there's the Evo 2 RTK version three, which is gonna have uh, the RTK version with the 6K camera. There's also a Pro Enterprise version, which has a 6K camera and it, is, it has compatible accessories like the spotlight, the loudspeakers, the strobe and all of that. There's also a whole series of 640T, which is their thermal camera. Uh, there's a, a 640T V3, 640T RTK, and then the 640T Enterprise, all of those uh, with the, uh, the thermal camera and uh, all of those in version three. So again, this appears to be another chipset issue. Uh, I don't think they can actually secure enough chips and then have to change vendors. 
which also means, unfortunately, that uh, smart controllers are not going to be compatible, or even regular controllers, I think, are not going to be compatible with each of the versions. So um, I'm going to warn people that if you're buying a, an Evo 2, now it's the same drone, right? The, the, the components on the inside, the, the payload is the same. It's just that the inside is a little bit different. Make sure that you get compatible equipment to go with one and the other. They're also talking about a new smart controller, which is the SE model for the Evo Lite and the Nano Plus. I'm actually pretty excited about this. I like the the Autel controller because uh, well, it's actually pretty big and the screen is really nice. So uh, I'll be interested to see what they do with that possibly smaller version of the smart controller for the Lite and the Nano Plus. All right, the last story this week is the bunch of uh, upcoming events. We have Commercial UAV Expo. We've mentioned that a couple times already. We'll be there uh, September 6 to 8 in Las Vegas. Uh, there's the Colorado UAS Roundup from our friends uh, in Colorado. We sponsored the event. We've been sponsoring them and their flying field uh, in Colorado. And uh, that's September 11th and 12th in uh, Mount Princeton, Colorado. I'll be out there. Actually, Vic will be out there as well. Uh, I'm uh, talking at one of the panels. And then we have DJI Airworks that's coming up in October 12th to uh, 10 to 12th, sorry, in Las Vegas, Nevada as well. And then there's a DRL drone race on October 11th that's in the PayPal Park in San Jose, California. Uh, we actually have a discount for a Pilot Institute students and uh, followers. So it's $15 per ticket, which I think is pretty cheap. Uh, if you've never been to a DRL event, it's uh, it's something to do. So if you live in the area, take your kids, take your friends, take your family, uh, go out there. 15 bucks is really nothing. Uh, we'll put a link down in the description where you can get that discount. And uh, it's, it's just... It, it's just so exciting, quite frankly. I, I went in there uh, when we were in Vegas last year, I think during Commercial UAV Expo, or I can't remember which event we were at. But anyway, it was it was just incredible to watch these drones flying around, talking to the pilots. Uh, we had VIP access, and uh, that was just really cool. So that's it. That's all I have for you this week. As always, like, subscribe, leave your comments, let us know what you think about the Avada, if you have any questions or anything that we talked about, and we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.